Hello again, and uh, let's continue our exploration of the uh, the portable executable file uh, using the 010 editor. Uh, this is going to be, a, a, let's say, a couple of videos, so it's not going to be covered in just one of them. We already covered the basics. We covered how this is all, uh, like uh, how we got to, to install the template, which is the executable template, as you can see here. And then we started from the DOS header and then the stub and then the NT header. We reached until the uh, size of optional header. Now, if we go here, uh, struct, which is also a structure, it's telling you that this is two bytes. And this is, by the way, telling you that, by the way, these are all kind of a, in a, a bitmap array. And then each bit will represent something. So if the bit is, is on, like this one is telling you the bit is on. So it's telling you this is a executable image. And then this one is also on, which tell you uh, it's a large address aware. So this can actually handle more data, more than two gigabyte of memory addresses. And actually it's over here, by the way. Some of these explanations are actually in this uh, comment section, which is really also uh, cool to find that some of these explanations, even if you don't know what they are, you can find them over here. So you can see this one, which is set to one. Then this file is an executable. You can see, uh, where is the other one? Yep, this one. Then application can handle uh, more than two gigabyte addresses. Okay, so, uh, and that's true because this is actually a 64-bit uh, application. Uh, you can also see, by the way, here, we'll, we look at a sample later that it's only one bit that will kind of be a difference, or at least one of the differences between a DLL and executable. So if this bit was actually one, then uh, set to one, then uh, this is actually going to be uh, an executable, uh, sorry, a DLL. And like you see here, file is a DLL and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, we can parse and understand all of that just by looking at the, uh, using the 010 editor. Now, if we go here to the image optional header, now really it's not an optional header. Don't know why Microsoft called, decided to use that uh, word for it, but it's really not an optional. And you'll see that it includes a lot of data, which is actually important to the uh, application. So we can see here it starts with this magic value, okay, which is these two value, and these are located at address 110, okay, and the size is two, so it's two bytes. Okay, and we can see it's saying PE64, which is uh, the PE64. So uh, 020, uh, 02B is actually, uh, sorry, 020B is actually PE64, or that's what it's representing. It's telling you the major linker version, the, ma the minor linker version. Uh, it's telling you the size of code, how big is the size of code, the size of initialized data. These are all, by the way, uh, details about the portable executable file. I might create another video explaining why, uh, what is this and uh, why is it necessarily, or why does the, how is this actually being used by the operating system, etc., and how can it actually even help the operating system? Uh, I will talk about that in another video, but not in this one, uh, because it's not related to the uh, 010 editor. We can also see here the address of the entry point. So this is where, the execution should start and you can see this is a double word because why this is uh, four bytes okay we can see the base of code where the code is going to be uh, located we can see this is a, a long long okay so it's eight bytes and that's correct because we are dealing with a 64-bit application so the address is going to be eight bytes we can see the section alignment, we can see the file alignment. So section alignment, which is in memory, file alignment, which is on disk, how these are gonna be uh, aligned. Uh, we can also see the major operating system version, the minor. There's actually a good uh, uh, URL on Wikipedia, which can be used to map these and understand them. Uh, so yeah, these are all the details, by the way, about this uh, application. We can also see here, by the way, that this is a Windows GUI application. And if we go down here, let me just scroll down here. We can see also some characteristics about the DLL. Uh, if like, for example, the dynamic base is uh, set. So this means 
the base address could be if it's set and it's actually is set so it means uh, ASLR is, is applied here and it's effective so it's going to be uh, randomized every time the DLL is loaded also the executable is loaded on the image we can see an X compat which means uh, DEP also data execution prevention is also enabled in this one and you can see these are also this is by the way also again this is a bitmap array and each bit will represent something so each bit here represents something uh, currently in this application we can see that uh, the base and the base and the AS so the base and sorry the uh, DEP or NX compat are both active and terminal server aware so this is a terminal server aware application are all set uh, over here so uh, these are all by the way different features that you can navigate and uh, understand the structure of the portable executable file using the 010 editor and actually you can understand any file format using this editor especially if there is a template for it if there is none then you'll probably have to reverse engineer it and write your own template but that's for a different uh, let's say uh, story and not going to be happening now but will definitely be happening later and in, in other videos for now Let's end this video here. I hope uh, this was useful and we'll continue our, our explanation of the PE file using our 010 editor. Thank you and have a good day.